Is that doing what you thought? It looks it looks pretty science fiction-y, yeah. It does it? Yeah, it does look definitely it's blue. It's the return of the laser. Yes. And the return of the very quick science experiment. This laser that Hannah has got was three pounds on Amazon. And uh, if we shine it through just a glass of water, you can see various things happening. Um, this is just tap water. But over here is a bottle of Waitrose tonic water. And can you shine it through the tonic water? Ooh. So this is really very different. The tonic water contains a compound called quinine. It used to be possible to buy quinine, but now you could only get it with a prescription. Photons from the laser hit the molecules of quinine and get absorbed. Some short time later, they will be re-emitted in a random direction. This is what is allowing us to see the laser beam as it passes through the water. Keep increasing the angle. Oh yeah, there you go. Ooh. That's Whoa. That's the reflection off the surface of the water. It's really cool. It's as though the water's surface is like a mirror. Yeah. I did try this experiment with another colour of laser. We've got this spirit level at college which has a wavelength of 532 nanometers, but as you can see, this doesn't cause the water to fluoresce. If you want to try this experiment yourself, all you need is obviously a blue laser and some tonic water. A word of warning about the laser, however, it's marketed as having a power of only one milliwatt, but when we tested it at college, the power came out to be closer to 45 milliwatts. This means that it's not safe for us to use for class practicals at college because anything over 5 milliwatts can cause permanent damage to your eye. So we'll only be able to use this for demonstrations. Also, the seller claims that this is a ultraviolet laser, but it can't be an ultraviolet laser because when you shine it on a wall, you can see the laser spot. When we measured the wavelength with a diffraction grating, we found the wavelength to be 400 nanometers, which is just within the visible band of the spectrum.